Imagine if you had a camera that could detect intruders in complete darkness through smoke, fog, dust, and heavy foliage. The new dual spectrum thermal camera from Uniview does just that. Unlike traditional cameras, this thermal camera relies on heat signatures rather than visible light. The camera's thermal feature mixed with active deterrence and deep learning AI powered intelligent events creates unparalleled detection accuracy. Let's go over the specs and features. This is a dual spectrum camera, which means it combines thermal and optical dual spectrum imaging into a single IP address. The optical lens has a four megapixel resolution and can record at 30 frames per second. The thermal lens has a 720p resolution and records at 30 frames per second. The camera has a whopping IR range of 165 feet for night vision, but it also has a starlight sensor, meaning it can see very well with high sensitivity and low light conditions without the IR turned on. The thermal camera comes with a built-in mic, speakers, and deterrence lights. You can set up the alarm and lights to be triggered by intelligent events. This camera does have Uniview signature deep learning AI technology, meaning you can choose to filter out what gets detected by intelligent events, whether it be pedestrians, vehicles, or non-vehicles. Keep in mind that if you're setting up intelligent events for the thermal camera, you will only be able to choose between pedestrians and vehicles. The intelligent events included are cross line, enter and leave area and perimeter, as well as scene detections. Because this camera can detect thermal temperatures, it comes with a reliable fire detection and temperature monitoring features. This camera has a four millimeter fixed lens allowing you to cover large areas, is PLE powered, and has a weatherproof rating of IP67. Lastly, you can record up to 256 gigabytes of onboard storage with a micro SD card or record locally through plug and play with a Uniview NVR. It's important to note that the thermal feature of the camera will only display properly with a compatible NVR either the E2 or the X-Series NVR from Uniview. Now that we've gone through the features, Sean Nelson will walk us through the web interface and show us some sample footage. Here is the uh, default view of the camera's web interface whenever you log in. Um, as you can see, it's basically like a, almost kind of like a little NVR where you have two channels. So the top view right here is the normal camera and the bottom view is the thermal camera. You can also choose to um, make this different. For example, you can make like a single channel view and um, you know pull up each one individually if you want to. Um, you can do left, right, split like this. Yeah, you got to pull up that camera, and you can do um, picture and or picture and picture. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, a few different options. Um, the default view is that right there. And then, um, you know, you go here to set up and it's the typical um, Uniview web interface with a lot of the same options that you see on their other cameras. Um, but let's take a look at uh, some of the thermal camera options, specifically the image options. Um, you're going to go here to image and then you're going to select channel two and then go to advanced and this is kind of cool this is what i think is really cool you can change the color palette of the thermal um, basically this is the palette of this one's called white hot so the hotter the parts of the image the wider it gets um, you can choose from a different one a lot of different ones lava um, arctic I think my favorite one is um, iron oxide red, if I'm not mistaken. That one's pretty cool and I like that. Because that, that one right there really emphasizes the hot areas. Um, looks like the cover on my boat is pretty hot. Um, but I like this one, I think, the best. No, it wasn't that one. Yeah, rainbow. Yeah, rainbow is, I think, one of my favorites. We'll change it back to white hot for our testing. And then, you know, this has a lot of different intelligent events. Um, you know, it has all your line crossing, your inter area, leave area intrusion. Um, and it also has these cool things, scene detection, object removal, object left behind, scene change. 
and you can set different, um, you know, triggers on, you know, when something like this happens. For example, let's do a popular one, line crossing detection. Let's set this and um, we're gonna go here and configure it. And it looks like I already have a rule set. So basically, if I walk from here to here or from here to here, it is going to set a trigger. And let's look at the trigger actions we have. Um, I have it set to where the alarm sounds and the alarm light goes off. And, um, you know, again, you can choose different alarm sounds. Um, I have it right here. You are in the restricted area. Please leave. Let's go see what this looks like in action. Okay, so it's about 9.15 right now and um, still need to wait about 30 minutes before I can get a really good dark scene out there. Still getting a little bit of ambient light from the uh, the sunset quite a, quite a while ago, but it's still just barely light out there and this camera does pick up on that um, light. It's actually, I wanted to show you the uh, the, the strength of the infrared on it's actually quite strong. You can kind of see the uh, the area where it's lit up. Um, you can see that reflecting off my boat light right there, but pretty nice little infrared view. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn the infrared off. It's obvious that this camera has a really good image sensor um, that can pick up low light quite well. I'll show you why. We're going to go here to image and we're going to choose the channel one. Um, I'm going to turn off the infrared. So we'd go this and boom. So the infrared lights turned off, but check this out. Look at that image. It's, you know, 920 and pretty dark out there. Um, and it's still you know, picking up quite a bit of light. So this, the image sensor in the, in the normal camera must be pretty darn good. Um, I need to look at the specs and see why. Um, it's probably a large image sensor and the, I'm sure the shutter settings are low right now, but uh, I'm impressed. I mean, th this, if you looked at this with your naked eye, you could not see what this camera sees. So um, I'm really gonna have to wait for this, you know, at least 30 minutes or maybe 10 o'clock before it gets really dark to do my testing. So we'll see. Okay, so I discovered a couple things why this um, image looks so great at night. Number one, it's uh, a three quarters moon out there. It's not quite a full moon, but the moon's fairly bright. Um, still with the naked eye, um, it just, you know, it's dark out there. Um, but the real reason why this camera looks so good at night is um, I checked out the specs and sure enough, it does have a large sensor. It's a starlight sensor. Um, and, and that's really why it, it, this thing can see really good at night, even without infrared. Um, so, you know, the, this camera just keeps impressing me with the, you know, it's loaded with features. Now it's got the starlight sensor. Um, so check this out. This is with the infrared off. Those shadows right there, those, that's from the moon. Um, if I walked out there, you can't really hardly see those shadows at all. Um, but it almost looks like a daytime image in black and white. So, uh, yeah, this camera's pretty cool, man. Um, very impressed. That is all. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to stick around for more security related content and we'll see you in the next video.